Later this morning, the state's Family and Social Services Administration will host the first of two online seminars about Indiana's new pre-K pilot program. Parents across the state will be listening in, especially right here in Tippecanoe County, which was named a finalist to run the pilot. Though 18 counties were named finalists, only five will make the cut. If Tippecanoe County is chosen, some parents say it will make a world of difference for their four-year-olds. Where I was living before, it was a resort community, and sending your child to preschool was for the rich. Jessie Donchus isn't rich. She's a single mother of two who wants to give her kids the best schooling she can, so she moved from Idaho to Indiana. Early childhood education is number one for me. I just think that the more you can teach your children, the better opportunity they have in life. So she sends her son Jack to Right Steps Daycare in Lafayette using the state's daycare voucher. Because Donchess doesn't make much money, the state pays for most of Jack's daycare with Donchess contributing a monthly copay. But if the new pilot program comes to Tippecanoe County, Jack would go to pre-K in 2015 for free. It would be amazing. It would, it would give me the opportunity to have that little bit of extra money to do other things with my children. Trisha Morehouse would also qualify for the program. Her four-year-old son Isaac also goes to write steps on a voucher, and she notices the difference pre-K makes. He knows more. He can tell me like what he sees, what color it is, what he can count more. It's just a lot more he can do from here than at home if I try to teach him. <laughs> Pre-K is getting more attention lately, with dozens of studies citing its benefits, including this study from the nonpartisan Society for Research in Child Development. It says robust evidence suggests that a year or two of center-based early childhood education will improve children's early language, literacy, and mathematics skills. But even with Indiana's vouchers and grants, hundreds of local children are going without pre-K, meaning they're more likely to fall behind when they get to kindergarten. United Way CEO James Taylor is trying to fix that. Roughly 45% of the children who show up at kindergarten uh, are not assessed as being ready to succeed. With more than 150 local children possibly qualifying for the program, Taylor hopes that number will fall. But before the state decides on the final five counties, it will have to make sure the counties can hold all the new students. Though Right Steps Executive Director Marilyn Redmond supports the pilot, she doubts there is enough capacity in the county. I don't think currently there are 150 slots available in level three and level four providers. Whether the program comes here or not, Donchess is glad Indiana is making the effort to educate its youngest and poorest students. This program, we're giving low-income families an opportunity to give that to their children, will just make a better community overall. The second seminar will take place in the last week of June. The state will select the final five counties in July.